apparently the, the devs won't let Wishpig remove the uh, the breaking event. Really? Why not? Mm -hmm. No idea. The big sad. I can't ask for maps for Far Salahad because I don't have an army adjacent to that zone. Where is Far Salahad anyway? Uh, let me have a look at my regions map mode. Far, uh, I don't know where Far Salah. Oh, that's um beneath the sea. Oh, it's a sea tile or something. Yeah, it's it's basically um, and Benar Egypt. Far Salahad, or North Salahad. Sorry, I don't know where Far Salahad is. I don't see that. Oh wait, no, I do. It's literally There's oh, North. Far my Bulawar. my second province, uh, the Heroes Vale, is in Far Salahad. Oh, okay. So yeah, I can't see your wars and stuff, even though I, I do see your thing. Oh, you're colonizing. Congrats. Yeah, but I've got no manpower and there's 10,000 natives here. It's great. Love it. Fantastic stuff. How come How come you have more base tax than gold? Are you... I thought you were gold dwarf. Uh, I am. Are, um, I, I, was, I had a couple of missions for that. I was told that you're a gold digger. Also, uh, I will say the um, the reason I haven't done it very much is because the inflation is scaring me. And I was kind of hoping to wait until I can unlock my first idea uh, for the negative 0.15 uh, attrition. Hmm. I, go I wanna, into it. I want to say that that your your country may don't they have like some sort of events or something that might help deal with inflation? Isn't that part of their their thing? I don't know. I've never played them before. They uh, is there anything in here? Did I break military access? I broke the alliance with with Lambert temporarily, and then once I reveal this this province here, after a couple more migrations, then I'll re-up the alliance. He's still a little bit mad. Negative 48, because I broke it. I mean... It's just a little upsize. A little bit of work, trying to deal with Lambert. Mad and Institution. Sad. Yeah, this time on the way back up, we will do Caverns of Interest stuff. I'm going to hopefully have no truce with this guy. I don't know how long it's been. Looks like the truce is still active. There's also an OPM over here down this tunnel that I could maybe go kill. If we don't kill them now, I think they do eventually colonize, right? So we just have to co conquer more land later. It'll be the wrong culture and stuff. So I think I should go hunt them down and kill them. Poison Rock has 26,000 troops. They scare me. Oh, if I can rip my uh, settlement then. It's hard to pay attention to what's going on outside the world as well, while all this other stuff is going on. Yeah. Now I'm just trying to find somebody that I can steal money from. Stupid humans. I think I'm going to have to wait to colonize. I, I can't. There's 10,000 natives in the next province over. The only province I can colonize. And, uh... Yeah, I've got no manpower and 10,000 men. And they do more damage to me than I'm doing to them. So I think I need to wait until I've taken some military ideas or tech so that they suck more how much money do you have uh i'm making 488 I've oh actually you're I, the bank. I can see you now because you're i know where your capital is you make 10 ducats a month yeah. just so you know i have twice your treasury i have 232 gold i've been amassing a monstrous pile of gold and every oh. dwarf gets a a few minutes a day to sit on the pile of dwarf gold and <laughs> swim in it like the duck I devved up to 40 so I can now dig if I want to cancel access oh yeah I can see him now great thank you I could lose 10 base production but then get plus 1.5 local goods produced 
Uh, it's probably worth it. I don't think it's worth bumping adventuring efficiency anymore. I just need to have enough money to... Yeah, I think I want to keep my military points now. Trade efficiency penalty. Oh, no. Actually, I do kind of want this combo because I could get the, the events. So never mind. Take corruption. Oh, come on. Can you see this already? Truce is up in 63. Five years. I'm going to, I'm going to like blast right past this guy if I keep going down the tunnel before the truce is up. Maybe I have time to go like here to here to here, explore this cavern and then come back. Maybe it lines up. Maybe I could go here because there's like a whole other area down here. Goods produce modifier is really good, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of the few ways that you can actually modify uh, income on gold mines because production efficiency doesn't affect gold. So I could get a plus 25% if I take war production as my second idea group. War production gold mines, huh? Mm. Well, I have the adventuring modifier. You don't, so it would be pretty good since you don't have like huge discounts to land maintenance. War production gives some pretty good discounts to troop costs. Yeah. Might, might be good. I'm not taking any ideas in it yet, but yeah. Oh yeah, I'm about to finish my second idea group. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Seriously. Um, and this it's was beautiful. Silly. I, I think I I nabbed your strategy. There was um. There was a guy that was about to get murdered, so I moved to the only province that he was going to have left because he's got murdered to the point where you know the guy didn't want that last province. Sat on it, and then I've sieged his capital. Uh, within a month. Oh, that's such a great tactic. It's it's so efficient. It's one of the easiest ways to get by the uh, length of war attitude. Like their enthusiasm, you know? And then black flag and fuck off home. <laughs> now my 88 power projection. Love it. Yeah, I need a war. My power projection's starting to slip. I've still got five years on the truce with this guy. You know, I think Heroes hey. Vale could do with a fortress. I got the event. Get out of here, both of you. Adventures are so broken, what with how good holds are. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're, you're OP. God, I really want more mana which would be quite nice yeah but propaganda then war production the next one's going to be an admin idea and i think i'm going to go with uh i think we were looking at development ideas um propaganda war production is a combo i've definitely done before consider innovative I think that there are some crazy other multipliers with innovative war production for uh, goods produced and production efficiency, trade efficiency. Production efficiency, I can get plus 30% if I have propaganda, which I've got going as well. I don't yeah. see anything here for war production, but it might be off the end of the screen because, you know, it works. Yeah, let me see. I, I remember I've definitely done a combo like that before. I don't remember what it was. Oh, jurisprudence war production is 15% goods produced. And innovative uh, goods produced and production efficiency. Uh, um, war production innovative is fairly decent. Ooh, I, uh, that master of mint is sixty-seven percent cheaper. I do not want to. Get oh crap! Money. I just went over the monarch point cap. I'm so bad. Why do I have so many admin points? Probably because you keep freaking moving around. I don't even have anything to spend admin points on right now. Shit. Uh, I need to pause. What do I spend? I, I don't want to. I got too many admin points. I can't even buy the tech. Do I just sit at the cap and take admin tech seven years early here? Or do I develop a random road? Um, I mean, you're going to own that road eventually anyway. You could... Uh, you stab? Don't I don't need stab. Yeah, stab say. slows down migration. It's bad. Can and I, I, can I can't attack for four years. Can I have them? 
You could, you I think could I just send him at me. I think I just dev the road once, but then I sit at the cap so that I can take tech ASP. Wait, ASP. have you not got any admin ideas? No, I, I went dip into mill and now I'm gonna do admin third. I think this might be the argument for maybe taking admin uh, earlier. Possibly, but I I generate a lot of admin points. I don't know. He can't attack me. We have no truce. I don't know why I stopped drilling. All right, I think I'm gonna go all the way down this tunnel and kill that guy. I'm kind of salty that Jadari isn't like super strong and my friend right now. That would be nice. I don't, I don't think I care about institution penalties. I'm just going to take tech whenever I can. I have a lot of monarch points. Feels good, man. Stop rubbing it. Truce break war? Oh, interesting. Yeah. What if I just broke the truce? Rob Why wait, right? side quests first. <laughs> it seems that what way. What do you think? What do I lose if I truce break? Everyone gets mad at me, but who cares? I take a ton of war exhaustion. That is bad. But is it, is it bad enough? Like right, because like bad. it's gonna, it's just gonna tick down over time, anyways. So like, do we care? Maybe we don't care. What level? Maybe... Like, what tech level are natives? Like, if I'm colonizing and the natives rise up against me, like, what tech level are they at? Uh, the size of the rebellion is equal to the natives in the province. So yeah. I'm, I'm looking at one of seventy five hundred to be an eight stack. The Chances based on aggressiveness, ferocity is a multiplier on damage. Um, they should have. I don't know actually, as far as like pips go. I think it's really, really low. Just take tech. Paying 1,020 admin points for admin tech, six. Because I'm just not sure how soon I want to go and colonize, because anytime you ri uh, rise up against me, there's 10,000 troops, which is the same as what I've got. And. He was, he's got plus 50% damage bonus from his ferocity. I gotta admit, I'm gonna be real sad if Innovative Ideas also doesn't spread institutions, because I'm kind of banking heavily on it working. <laughs> this wouldn't be a... an Arumba playing E4 situation if I didn't take Innovative. Why would Innovative spread institutions for you? Uh, look at the innovative ideas. First idea, patron of the arts, general institution growth at 0 0.1. Oh, that's nice. I didn't even read that one. Yeah. Blanked over it. Yeah, it's a thing. It does seem like a decent thing. I bet for 100 gold, a Rumba would come and kill a couple of province natives for you. Doubtful. Like, for him to come down here and deal with my natives, he would have to fight the natives in so many of these dwarven roads that he wouldn't have a, an army left by the time he got here. Yeah, I actually don't have very much military. That is it's definitely not worth 100 gold. 50 crowns to explore this cavern, but it might be worth it. Yeah, I mean, if you get a permanent modifier, damn right, it's worth it. It's real good. Yeah, but there's like a... You have an equal chance of getting like a super crazy rare event as just having rebels pop up. It's like a d20, basically. So I could roll a one here. Just have like twenty rebels rise up. It'd suck. And he dies. This is this is the end. I've got enough gold to explore like four more caverns. Killing natives isn't worth it anyway, because it costs a billion mil. Yeah, it's definitely not worth it. Yeah. By the way, I just want to point out the game hasn't crashed yet. Again. Yeah. So wish pig. Holy crap, man. Thank you for saving the stream. Absolutely. Also, we still don't understand why they won't remove it from like <laughs> <laughs> if it makes the game so unstable like why isn't it just not part of the thing is this gold hold also giving me bountiful harvest is that what that event is coming from because i just keep getting randomly 60 gold just random and i like it Uh, the goods produced. So Cavern of Interest should fire within about a year. Uh, basically the province modifier allows you to do the decision and then once you've done the decision there's a mean time to have an event that will fire. So it's like simulating us exploring it right now. If it doesn't trigger by the time I can migrate then I'm probably just going to sit and not migrate and just wait for the event and get mad 
stir every day that it doesn't fire because we're wasting time. We're burning midnight oil or something. Burning supplies. Stupid. Stupid Ooh, cavern. I see more dwarves. Company of the Grudge Bearers. What? Where the fuck did they come from? Just played multiplayer with some friends and crashed a lot. What was the fix? Just redownload the pack. It's already updated. We uh, we had the assistance of Wishpig, VIP of both channels. An amazing guy. I'm fairly sure the, that this this guy has just appeared. They do. Like, he wasn't yeah. here from the start, right? Yeah, they spawn. They they do spawn. Uh, I think new adventures spawn over time. Huh. Interesting. He just rivaled me, the dickhead. Kill him. I mean, I would kill him, but I had to, I would have to go through probably 28, 29,000 natives to get to him, and I ain't about that life. There. I sent them a message. Oh, hey, look, it's a beautiful cavern full of 12, ca uh, 12 cave goblins. Now, out of curiosity... What if I just, you know, go ahead and, you know, migrate away from this? Migrate and let them just rise up behind you. <laughs> it worked. Wait, what? it even didn't clear the cavern of interest. Holy shit, we is just, that the new I, exploit? I just noped the hell out of that province like, no, thank you. Bye. <laughs> That's cheating. Uh, watch it, like, improperly clear the province flag and now I can never do stuff there or something. I wouldn't be surprised. That's jammy. Institution spread? Yeah, it's just fully borked. The institution spread from society and innovative ideas are both not currently working. <sighs> Artemis, I need it. Tell you what, if, if it can get fixed, then at a convenient point for us to take a bathroom break or something, we'll quickly update, you know, yeah. just so that I can have the overpowered Institution spread that I want. Sound fair? Yeah, I'm okay with that. That shouldn't be a problem. What was the exploit? So I started uh, looking at this cavern of interest, and then I got the pop-up event saying like what we found, and it was cave goblins. So uh, since my migration cooldown was available, I just left. And then, because I was no longer in that province, the event effect changed from spawn cave goblins to do nothing. And presumably, since I left, it also just decided not to clear the cavern of interest. So maybe we get to explore it again on the way back. God, the amount of men I lose any time these um, natives rise up is insane. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm I'm mostly just standing in my capital drilling. Oh. I don't. I do not want to move into the roads. Which Wish is dangerous. Pig has just messaged in my chat and said, it's an exploit he's already fixed. You can't migrate out of Caverns of Interest anymore. Already fixed? We just updated the pack like an hour ago. <laughs> I mean, this guy is a VIP for a reason. Well, I better migrate out of every Cavern of Interest possible until we update. Man, the game really wants me to gain stab and I keep on saying no and it feels weird. Imagine refusing stability like three times in a row. Yeah. He's not sent it to the latest version yet. He's got to test it. Hmm. We don't want to test it for you. Or at least Arumba doesn't. <laughs> He's quite happy. Ooh, new cavern. One more migration away. I bet this guy is migrating over to Gora Zumbarog the bastard. I didn't hear a response earlier. Did you see that I sent your, your new rival an insult? Oh, did you? Nice. Yeah, I, I I had to tell him. His his CB on you has just run out. Yeah, I needed him to know how we really feel about that guy. Mm. I mean, I just I, I would I would totally be friends with him, uh, but unfortunately, he just wants to be a dick. How come how come chat every time I look over at chat? After having mentioned Artemis's name, how come he's not always present? <laughs> I'm <laughs> every every time I see anything about institution right now, my mind immediately goes to I want it. Why doesn't it work? 
So what, what should work, the way it should work is the game should be assigning a hidden flag to every province owned by people who have general institution growth idea one thing. And then it triggers a thing. But I don't remember why it's not working. Lega Schneid, think yourself, man. The, right. the logic or the, the, the lore, I guess, for why the, the fix that you can't leave a cavern of interest is um, the dwarves get very interested in the interesting stuff and never want to go away. Which is, I mean, that's pretty plausible. Yeah. It's nice that, you know, when you, you're, yeah, you're fixing a bug or an exploit, but like also trying to make it make sense within the lore of the game seems reasonable to me. I'm up to 23% army professionalism. I am I, at 2.93. I think maybe you should have taken a migrate, migratory dwarf. I think they might be a little stronger. <laughs> they, at, they do seem the, relatively powerful. At the start. But you got to do it on negative three stab. That's, that's a, a huge part of it. And it helps to rent out your entire army to some idiot that pays you for no reason at all. I'm currently renting to Nimsgod. These the boat, stupid... boat gnomes. Yeah, the stupid boat gnomes that were the, the bane of our... Previous campaign is the green scale kobolds. I'm gonna try and make some friends. All right, cabin of interest number two. Another 50 crowns down the tubes. I'm gonna try to make more friends. I only have relationship slots for one friend and I've spent it on you. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Uh... I mean, it just seems reasonable to me. It seems very yeah, applicable. Yeah, correct. Yeah, it's just the right the right choice. It's righteous, is what it is. Also, I love first... how much money I'm making. It's insane. I make fifteen ducats a month from gold alone. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't have a lot of. Um, I do, however, have uh, my first age bonus. Hey, probably. Uh, what do we take? Maybe adaptive combat terrain. Ooh. It's an old, it's a beautiful caravan. Sorry, beautiful ca cavern, words. 27 ducats. So you're telling me I spent 20 Dipple points and 50 crowns to gain 26 crowns. Hmm. I mean, if I could migrate again, I would migrate away from this. This is trash. How long till I can migrate? Not fast enough. These guys are on tech three. Here's something that I've thought for a while with missions. Um, I want to know if you agree with me on this. Would you prefer if the bonuses that you get from your missions, instead of being something really good for 20 years worse or 40 years... Worse but permanent. Worse but permanent, I know. yes. Yeah, no, I, I, I knew the question the second you started asking. There's no, no contest. I hate 15-year modifiers. It's like, yep. you can have 5% infantry combat ability for 15 years. Who cares? Oh no, you know, I mean, some, some stuff is really good. 20% local dev cost. Awesome. Lasts for 20 years. Eh, I would take 2%, yeah. but make it permanent. Yeah, me too. Because I, I don't like having to make the decision, like, when do I... Yeah. When do I do the click? It's, it's that... very um, applicable to vanilla for the harsh treatment cost one. Because um, you never want to take that until you get to the age of absolutism, so you can farm the absolutism from harsh treatment. Or the one that gives you um, anything that gives you money as a um, a reward, you want to wait until you've got your income really high, because then you know the amount of money you get is based on your income. So it's like, ah, uh, just, just I don't like it. Mind if I pause real quick so I can do a quick thing before I need to like send a colonist? Yeah, no, for it. For right I gotta migrate cheese basically, otherwise. I lose my valid rival. Got a bump stab. Apparently my run is cursed. Um, someone in chat's mine depleted in eight years into the game.